my review of this game like i said it was a six right six out of ten and we can talk about this part first since i'm i'm on it right now this tv thing is more annoying than fun right it just uh, <laughs> you just like pushing through things and i just want to fight like when i'm playing the game right i i want to fight like even if the, the hit the fight is the hindrance to my like gameplay not gameplay but like it makes my run slower i'd rather go in and just fight like oh shoot there's a monster there and i'm like i want to go fight it that's how i like the combat the combat was like seamless and it's the animations are are good and everything and i enjoy all the characters except for the, the main character is kind of kind of blandish but to be honest uh <laughs> i feel like i would technically dress like him though to be honest like his clothes and style could be better for an anime game but personally um i feel like i i that's my wardrobe <laughs> too bad i can't show it now because i'm in the middle of this this fight thing um like they need to make this a lot less it's the word like i don't mind it having it there and so they won't like throw it away but i feel like they need to they need to like make this like a lot shorter yeah, they spend more time doing this, so they didn't make this last short. Like, instead of looking for maybe like four scatter parts, they look for two. Just, just, just make it like that and just throw in more fights. Like, if you go to the like the rally commission, the rally commission is actually fun. But there's another problem with that. Um, at level 35, at level 35, the rally commission is like 100 stamina per run. So it could kind of we can kind of segue to stamina, but. <laughs> The rally commission itself, though, is pretty good. Um, you know what? I'm just going to leave so we can actually just talk about it. It's fine. I'll, I'll get the refund. The The rally commission is actually pretty fun because you just... When you go in, you don't start in TDs. You actually... You actually just... Start in the battle and you're on your character and stuff. Like, if I were to just go to one of these, right? Um... I use this to grind, right? Because then I was trying to get more of this. But it does take a hundred, so I kind of don't want to do it right now. But um, if you, when you start the battle, you actually start in the world. Like your, I will be Bond, and I'll be running around. And then when it just, it just from area to area. Like at the end of the first area, you go into a portal. You go into a portal, and you go to the next area, right? Like Honkai, Honkai Star Rail, similar universe. So I was hoping they they would change it to more like that, um, or just in the Hollow Zero is actually not bad. Like if they want to change it the way it works, they could just make Hollow Zero like this, right? The Hollow Zero um, where you can pick one or two paths and stuff like that, and just change like all the story map to kind of be like that. Maybe I don't know. Like the ones that are like superly long, just change it to be like this one. <laughs> That that will make a lot of nuance nuances kind of disappear, to be honest. But I like Hollow Zero, so Hollow Zero is fine. Like it has the TVs and stuff, which is, I enjoy the TV in that sense. But all the other ones are like a lot. When it comes to elements, is it better to have a team with multiple? Um, I feel like it's more about your synergy. I don't feel I, I don't feel like their enemies are like weak to anything in particular. Um. So if you were to go to like one of your agents, right? I'm at your disposal. And you look at you look at their skills, it kind of all just depends on this additional ability. So you kind of want to build synergy depending on this. Right? You need at least if you if you want to maximize this ice, then you run two ice and one strike and one slash. Um sometimes I was running Ben before and Ben is a fire obviously, right? But at least Ben I shall follow you. At least Ben has um, the two strikers. So since Vaughn is a striker and Ben is a striker, I would still get that benefit. So you can kind of pick and choose like which buff you want and which one you kind of don't. Yeah, traversing in the roguelike isn't so bad. That's what I say. Um, Time for some hard labor. But yeah, that's that. Uh, and then we can talk about the commission log. They need to claim all for this thing. Like this is this is kind of like annoying to click on. Like they should put an exclamation mark if I had something here, but they put the exclamation mark down here, and I'm like, yo, which one is the one that actually has uh, drops for me to redeem? 
right? And then they need to, or they could just put a claim all button on the bottom here or something and just just collect everything. That would be great. But one thing they could do is just add the exclamation mark here instead of actually having it down here. And I do know that a lot of people talk about the UI, especially on uh, what, what's that page? This page, All right? This is this is like mumbo jumbo thing, and you can't see which one's commission. You know what they can do? Make an easy fix. They should just make the default do this. The default should be help request info by default. So when you go to this page, it'll automatically be that instead of showing all of them. So these are the all the commissions. These are the one that I have commissions on, right? So you know which one to click. They could just easily fix that by doing that, right? Instead of having it all under that issue. I don't need to read all this stuff. I don't care about this dog. What the hell? It's just all fluff. Leave it like this. That would be great. <laughs> and then another thing is when I'm running through town, I notice that my my end. They need to make the MC run faster. <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of too slow. I feel like when I'm running from one place to the other place. And it, it just, he just looks so slow, man. They needed to make it uh, like a little bit faster. Just, just a little, just a little bit. Um, speaking of transversing, I don't like it how they lock you when you're doing a commission and you can't travel. It's kind of annoying. Oh yeah. Having any character in the overworld is actually a good suggestion too. But I guess they don't want... Yeah, they, you have the models, right? You can just choose and then just put it out there. Um, but yeah, they do need to make this character faster. I'm repeating myself. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so besides the speed thing... Yeah, there's no jumping. I wish there was a jump. It would be nice. <laughs> Fun to just hop around. Uh, this it gets like your fidget spinner kind of thing <laughs> out of the way. Oh, let's talk about my least favorite feature. The DMs. This is my least favorite feature because you can't skip any of this. And then even if you click off of it and that person is typing, he doesn't he doesn't type. He just stops typing. If you click off the window, they should at least make it that if you click off the window and they're typing, it, they should just keep typing. So when you come back to it, it would just get this giant wall of text. And to make it faster, if they don't want to add a skip button, they should allow us to click on the screen and it'll just go to the next message. Yeah, this freaking nerfed it, man. If you click on the screen, just go to the next message. You go, 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 go. And it'll be, it'll be a lot quicker. Like they did it with the text. Like the text in this game, when you're talking to like the NPCs, like if I were to talk to Lily, I could just click and it'll be super quick, right? Bam, bam, bam. They could just have done that, man. Um. And one thing is, it does take a lot of clicks just to open like the menu. Go here, go here, right? And then if I want to like look at a new character, I have to escape and then go to the next one. They could have just have it here when you're at the skill screen. You can like swipe left or right, just move left or right and you go to the next character. Like in Genshin. <laughs> you move to the next character, man. You just click on them. But you have to exit out. There's too many extra step to go from one screen to another screen and like they don't have a button where you can press c and then it open like the agent screen or something maybe there is and i don't know but there's like no button to open like storage there's nothing there's nothing all these buttons camera and then there's f right click uh q to open this that's my least favorite feature why is that a button i don't know they have this one. This is fine. Where's so what happened to like C and pressing I for items and storage and stuff? They could have added that in there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So one temple. I'll, I'll do one. But sometimes what I find annoying is that sometimes here there's like two NPCs standing here, right? Usually there's like a promoter or new NPC standing here in front of the bang boo. You go here. Somehow, somehow you target the bamboo instead of the NPC and you just want to talk to the NPC. Like you just, you just like, cause then you, you take one step, you take two steps, right? So it's kind of hard to target. It's kind of hard to show you cause there's no NPC here. Um, but then when I can't talk to him behind this, the freaking thing. 
Yeah, it's so hard to just like lock onto the NPC. One thing they could do is that if you're locking an NPC and then you press tab or something, give us tab targeting. Just just give us tab targeting. Like they have in other MMOs and stuff, just in games in general. Give us tab targeting with talking to NPC. You hit tab and it'll just cycle to the next NPC. If there's no other NPC, it'll just stay on there, right? They could do that in fighting too. Like sometimes I don't want to hit this one unit that's in front of me. I kind of hit the one that's like behind me. Hit tab and it'll target the other one. Two options pop up. Yeah, they. it's kind of hard. They, they just, they're like, okay, uh, what if I want to talk to Bamboo? There we go. What do I want to talk to Lucky Boo? Oh, just, just tilt to the right a little bit. But yeah, it, it happened more in he in front of this because then the NPC is just like too close to each other. It's kind of annoying. I think we mentioned talking about summonings before. I Summoning isn't so bad. I kind of... I think JD mentioned that it should be, it looks kind of plain-ish. They could, it's like a nitpick here, but they could add like some more colors or maybe some lightning bolts. If there's an S rank, he's like, your lightning bolt just like flashes the screen and you got, or like rainbow light just like, ah, oh, you know, just, just change the whole screen to be like a, you have a TV, right? Just like your, your, your TV shuts down and then it's like, it's, you know, you got an S rank or something. The walking is clunky. Yeah, it's more like you try to do one step, but you're doing like three steps. <laughs> but and you're not even doing the run. You're not even the run animation. Anyways, let's do a summon and you can kind of like if I were to get an S rank, I want this TV to be like all rainbowy or something. I don't have a S rank, but I got a rank. So. You, you, you get what I mean. <laughs> Or they can change the background here. Change the background for like B rank to be this color, A rank to be a slightly purple border, and then S rank to be freaking glowing. Yeah, it, it just looks the same and it's orange. And even here, it just be, they just put an S. They just put an S down. I'm like, yo, can you, can you just like make it like super shiny or something? If I got an S rank here? They got height music and rainbow, yeah. It's, it's uh, one of those uh, little nitpicks thing is like, it's not really required, but it's a gotcha game. You should emphasize on the gotcha. Let's talk about some of the character stuff. Is it work time? Is food included? I didn't know you can actually find out about the things in here. Um, you click on this, but they don't talk about everything. They don't talk about everything on here, but they, they have some of the stuff in here. Uh, it would be nicer if this this stuff was actually on like if you're like looking at skills or something you can like click on this highlight over it get a tooltip you know that kind of stuff that would be great like you click here you're like oh what's this uh extra I don't get okay this this is the bad character example but <laughs> like if it says days then you can like highlight over days or or impact and see what it is oh actually equipment probably a better choice like you can highlight over this and then you can kind of see what it is just just. Just in general, right? Just just to know, like penetration, blah, blah, blah. Like you have to go to base stats and kind of look. So that's kind of a nitpick thing, but. Penetration due to defense. It'd be nice, double rainbow in the sky. Yeah. Uh, I think those are mostly all my nitpicks that I have so far. I enjoy the combat, people say easy. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I like feeling overpowered a little bit, but it's more like you can't always, you could just spam dodge and stuff, but you won't be doing damage. But um, sometimes I'm still having the, I have the option to dodge and attack at the same time. And I still get hit sometimes. So it's there's still a little window where you can make mistakes. So it's not too bad, I would say. Um, it does get harder when you're fighting some of the Actually, it was only hard because they were level 40. <laughs> so I was actually level 30 and they're level 40. Maybe they just need to make it that way. Just make everything like 10 levels harder, right? If you're like a level fighting level. The story is like a level 30 to just make it harder to like a level 40 monster. Um, so everything hits you kind of hard. So if you mess up, it's kind of your fault. But they don't hit you hard enough that it one shots you. It, it hits you like hard enough that you lose like maybe one 
one sixth of your HP, right? So I'll do like one sixth of your HP, and then you hit like a hit six times, your character is dead, but you have three characters, etc. Um, so that's that's nice. Uh, oh yeah, I do want to talk about the combat. Though it, this is kind of a nitpick for myself, but when I'm fighting, I would like an HP bar not in the top left corner. Uh, <laughs> I want it on like my character, like an HP bar on my, on my character. Do you see the HP bar on the enemy? Can I get one on my character? I have to, I hate having to look up and be like, oh shoot, now I'm dying or or whatnot. And then the decibel things, I don't even notice that. I just look at the, the if my button, if I can press Q or whatever and do my ultimate, that I just look at that. So they could just move this, this bottom right corner, make it a little closer, maybe a little higher, maybe in the middle instead of the bottom right. But I know it's for mobile, but for PC, come on. <laughs> you can change the music. There's one song for a, of a guy talking forever. They, they have to change the, mu the music. This one music or? Oh yeah, and then we talk about stamina, right? Okay, okay. I forgot to mention the, the, the biggest main point. Like, I thought this one was bad, and it cost 50 stamina, right? They, this one cost freaking 100. <laughs> this cost, this cost, this cost 50, and then it goes to 100, and it's kind of monk s right? Oh my god. That's freaking more than half your stamina bar. What? You only have 180. You only get, what, one every six minutes? Right? And then the freaking 100. What they need to do is cut every stamina by half. Everything. Everything cut by half. Main mission, main commission, just be zero. I, I don't mind if sign commission still costs stamina, but just cut that in half too. Um, and this thing, cut in half, man. You want to do one run, it's freaking 20. You want to do uh, both of these in once, it's freaking 40. But that's, that's a lot. I understand, like, I grinded this, it, but it's too much stamina, man. Like, I wouldn't mind if they kept it like this, if they make, make the commission and the side commission maybe free. Uh, but I feel like everything should cut in half. <laughs> this is the TV guy? The TV one? Um, I don't remember, actually. It's been kind of, been kind of long. The TV right here. But yeah, besides that, I think that's it. I think that's all my my feedback and impressions that I feel like, and some solutions that they can do to make it like just slightly better. Yeah. Anyone thoughts? Any other thoughts and complaints? <laughs> <laughs>